everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, founder of Function Pilates, located here in Tempe, Arizona. And today I'm back with another reformer workout. And this is strictly stretching, restorative, just all the feel good stuff that you may wanna add into your workout at the end or just something just to get the circulation going and getting moving for the day. I am working on a balanced body piece of equipment. So for those that are working on a different model at home, I will help make those necessary spring adjustments for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I have over 90 workouts here in the playlist section, so feel free to check it out. And also, if you're unaware, we do have a virtual teacher training program, so if you've been thinking about becoming a Pilates instructor or just enhancing your own Pilates knowledge to put your own workouts together at home, go ahead and check out that link in that description box to check out all the information on how to become a certified instructor. And if you are also a Pilates instructor or thinking about it and would like to be your own boss and have your own business, Function Pilates is a groundbreaking franchise. So if you're interested in learning more about how to get started in your neighborhood, go ahead and check on that link in that description box. And I would love to chat more with you on how to get started. I'm also gonna make some recommended workouts here if you like this and you want more stretchy, you feel good kind of workouts. I'll make a, a little bit of a, a recommendation there for you as well. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and begin with our footwork here, but we're gonna be on a nice, light, comfortable spring tension. So I have on two reds and one blue spring. Just coming down onto your mat, settling in, making sure that the shoulders are equally pressing against the shoulder blocks and the head is nice and centered. Maybe just taking some knee sways here to get the kinks out of the low back and just starting to get familiar with what your body is feeling like today. Maybe hug those knees into your chest to really imprint your low back as you stretch out through that portion of our back here. Add some circles and adding anything that you feel you need to start with at this point. Maybe straighten your legs towards the ceiling adding some point and flexes and then prepare with your toes on that foot bar and stretch it out nice and long dropping those heels under lifting the heels and returning home so single consecutive press out with a nice calf raise in between so as we go through this more restorative stretch inspired workout we still want to intentionally feel as if we are focusing on the appropriate muscle group here. So activating through our thighs, pushing through those toes to exercise them and develop the heat in our calves as well. Drawing those abdominals down and in. Take it into a nice running position as we alternate the legs, one bends and one heel goes under to feel the enhancement of the calf stretch here. Dropping those heels once more. Maybe turning those heels to the right. Little shift there and over to the left as you drop the heels under. See how that feels like today? Just do that a couple times here each way. And then you can finish it with another single stretch as we begin to awaken these muscles and stretch out the muscle fibers here. Taking your feet, the arches of your feet onto the foot bar and then maybe walking them up and down, playing here with where some unnecessary tension lies in the middle of your foot, or maybe it's on the heel Everyone will feel a little different as we all have different postures and we apply gravity in our weight distribution very differently as well. Once you're done, go ahead and bend those knees to come back in and take it into a wide stance on your toes. Stretch those legs out and press. Beautiful. Again, staying on those toes, elevating those heels will help to stretch out through the bones, through those ankles. Just 
finding a comfortable pace for yourself here. And then go ahead and once you're done with that, take those legs, send the calves over the foot bar. And just as we did with our feet, our arches, we're gonna do the same thing with our calves. So just, just really stretch them out, roll into them as you provide this self massage for yourself. Just kind of walking it towards your ankles and then all the way back up, maybe to where right below your knee. And you'll know if you hit a spot, I like to call these speed bumps because you'll hit some knot and it'll be quite noticeable. And just gently, again, awakening those muscles. We're gonna sit ourselves up As you sit here, go ahead and straddle the carriage. Remove one spring, so maybe you have one and a half springs on, and just take this nice modified child's pose as we stretch out through our shoulders, but with a nice wide-legged stance. So you're gonna feel those hips stretching, those inner thighs. Take it into a rotation as you lift that arm, left arm up and return back through center. Right arm goes up and we rotate, just gently twisting through the spine looking over your shoulder, coming back through the center. Again, over to the left, really opening up through that shoulder joint, applying pressure into the shoulder block as it assists you to stretch and rotate. Switching to the other side. And returning back through the center here. Let's take a nice neck stretch. So as you sit up tall, Turn your head to the right and stretch with your left fingertips towards the floor to feel the neck, the lower portion of the neck here stretching. Other side, tilt it to the left, stretch those right fingertips down. So you're gonna feel this, the lower portion. Interlace those hands, reach up towards the ceiling, lift your chest up nice and high. And then go ahead and crisscross your legs here. Take those hands back to the foot bar to push on out. So if it's too heavy, we'll reduce your spring tension. But the goal here is to feel as if the hips are opening up. If you don't have any knee issues, you can always do this one knee at a time with the opposite leg hanging off to the floor. Take a nice side stretch, both hands to the left hand of the foot bar, press out. Shoulders drop, feel the sides of your ribs stretching. Return back through center. Over to the right hand side, we press out. Coming back in. Good. Again, through the center, nice wide hand positioning. Think of almost like your knees are stretching in opposite directions of the room. And bring it back in again. So pigeon stretch here, one leg is up, one leg is down. Again, taking that nice full fold over. Breathing into it to really allow the muscles to release and the toxins to set free. Switch it over to the other side. Left leg is now bent, right leg is on the floor, and we press out. Pressing out to your full capacity here. So maybe your shoulders are starting to cringe up, so drop those down. Maybe you can press a little bit more into the foot bar to stretch those biceps out. Breathing into it, nice and slow. Just releasing from your low back as well. Returning back in when you're ready. So now that we're pretty much warmed up here, 
we're gonna go in ahead and take the right foot against the shoulder block for a deep hip flexor stretch. If you need to support your knee, find a pillow or a towel to place underneath, but make sure your left knee is directly over your left ankle. And think of squaring out your hips to feel the full benefit of that right hip flexor. Lift your chest up a little bit more. And then return home. Keep your left leg bent as we go back into it. Maybe tuck your tailbone under as you send your hips slightly forward without moving the carriage. And then find your block or a book, something handy, placing it on the floor here so that we can go into a nice deep dragonfly twist. So your hand is supported on that block. You're twisting as you look up towards the sky. Maybe take a wrap there to open up through the shoulder joint and the pectoral muscle. Breathing, reach that arm back up and around and carefully unwind out of that pose. Let's take a nice inner thigh stretch. So nice big splits here where your left foot is supported by the base of the reformer and your right foot is up against the shoulder block. Stretch it to your limit. You can be more active with this or it could be passive where you're just hanging out. Maybe you can go a little bit more each time those muscles start to release. And then bring it back home. So we're gonna have both feet here. Where we're on, the knees are on top of the carriage, left foot's on the ledge, right foot supported by the shoulder block into the hamstring stretch. Now this is a modified position here, but if you feel like you want a deeper hamstring stretch, you can place your left foot on top of the foot bar and then press out as you hold on to that foot bar. Send your left hip back, right hip forward. Coming up into elephant or a downward dog position, heels are supported by the shoulder blocks. We're just gonna press out ever so gently really feeling as if there's a string pulling our tailbone up towards the ceiling. You're getting a little longer through your spine and you're pressing a little deeper in through those heels. Your upper body is stable and quiet. Beautiful. Just taking note on how this feels for you going at a comfortable speed and then bringing it back down carefully. So taking it over to that other side, going back to that first exercise where we're stretching the half flexor out, right knee over that right ankle, push those hips forward to feel the stretch in the left hip. Chest is high. So careful not to collapse down. You won't feel the stretch as much unless that's what you're looking for. Good, again, this can be active, this can be passive, whatever feels good for you today. Bringing that back in and then gently just stretching back into it. Finding your block again for that dragonfly twist. Left arm goes down to support, right arm swings up. And when you're ready, maybe you can look up at those fingertips, but see how much more of extra little twist you can get through the spine and wrapping your hand around as an option. Carefully coming back out of it, finding your foot bar and returning the carriage back in. Coming into our side split, 
that inner thigh stretch so the right foot is supported by the base of the reformer leg, walking your hands out and taking that into as deep of a stretch as you need. Keep breathing to continue to feel that mind-body connection and just letting your mind just be gentle with your body as you create this awareness, coming back up into that downward dog position. Hands are on that foot bar, heels are supported and pressing firmly. The variation here is that we're gonna lift the toes up to enhance that hamstring stretch. So the back of the legs might feel this a tiny bit more as those toes raise up towards the ceiling. But if you don't like that, that's not feeling good for you today, you can just gently relax those toes down into the padding. Exhale, reach those toes and release down. Good. And quiet through that upper body. Tailbone is reaching higher. And then carefully dropping those knees back down. So left foot supported by the shoulder block. You're gonna find that right foot on top of the ledge, taking it into that hamstring stretch. Good. Shoulders down. Right hip goes back, left hip goes forward to square it out. Again, your other option is to take the toes, your right toes on top of that foot bar for a deeper hamstring stretch. Nice. And then just go ahead and take it down. We're gonna go into a a lizard inspired exercise. So your left foot's against the shoulder block, your knee is in the, almost like the center, right foot's on the floor. So it's a different angle. However, it's a deeper hip feeling. Good, holding that to what feels comfortable and then switching it to the other side. And just allowing your mind to settle down as you focus on your breath. Try to release any unwanted tension through your shoulders. And allow for those hips to release unwanted stress and aches and pains and toxins here. And carefully bringing that back in. So if you haven't already, you can take the block out from underneath and then curl those toes under, set your block on top of your ankles and sit gently into them. Raise those arms up into goal post arms, stretch up and drop down. So this could be quite challenging for some, especially if your toes are a little extra stiff. So do what feels comfortable for you. Maybe that's eliminating the arm work. Good, and breathe. Just keep shining your chest up towards the sky. Just feel the shoulder blades moving down those back pockets. And then carefully coming out of that. We're gonna go ahead and find our box here. So. Let's go ahead and apply the box on the carriage in a long waist position, so vertical. You're gonna lie on your stomach here. Take those hands to the foot bar and keep your hands out nice and wide. We're still on that one spring, that one red spring. Carefully inhaling to come up into extension. Bend those elbows to return back to the stopper, stretch out, reaching that chest up. Good. So 
nice, comfortable pace here. Squeeze maybe through the glutes here to add extra protection to your low back. And then if you're able to stretch for your right leg with your left hand to deepen that hip flexor stretch and that quad stretch, nice and long, coming back in. You're gonna push back out, reaching the right hand behind you, grab a hold of your left. And if that's not, if that's not a capability today, then maybe just bend, the, uh, bend at the knee to feel that quad stretch. And release. Carefully coming off of that, take it into a couple Roll downs here. You're gonna sweep those arms up. Roll down, gently reaching for the floor and then slowly restacking the spine. One more time. Sweep, breathe, take your time here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time.